Alright, hello viewers of this video and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation channel. Today we've got our first video in the summer of 2013. And today we've like we'd like to showcase this tileable dud. And a dud is a data update detector. So let me just showcase that to you guys. As you can see here, we got some no blocks down here, and then we got some indicator lights up here. As you can see, as we click on these note blocks, they don't change pitch. Um, because they've got solid blocks on top, but as you can see these lamps will light up accordingly um, with each note block we right click on Now each of these units is tileable and yeah, let's just go ahead and show you the wiring as you can see it is extraordinarily compact and Yeah, let you could probably get how to build it right now um, But yeah, let me just show that how to build it for you guys. You're gonna start off with a block here place a redstone torch on top It'll lead a comparator going into that block with a redstone torch on top. And then a chest here. Put one of any item into it, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to put some cobble in. And then you take a sticky piston from that redstone torch and then put a block on top of there. And there you go, that's your dud. So, as you can see, it detects a whole bunch of different changes, uh, different changes that a bud cannot. As you can see, it detects the change in uh, note block, changing the pitch, and yeah. Alright, so you got your single dud here. Now let's say you want to have it set up like it is over there, where you got the duds all up in a row. Um, that's a really simple to do. Um, instead of using another regular chest here, as you can see, that will make a double chest. What you're going to do is you're going to alternate regular chest and trap chests. So, just alternate them like that. And then you just go ahead and build them as normal. So just um, one block to each. Whoops. Okay. And then you just add your comparators. This is a mess. Okay. Add your blocks. More torches. Whoops. Add more sticky pistons. Blocks. And then whatever you want to update or whatever you want to detect over here. Um. There you go. So as you can see, when you click on these note blocks, they'll activate their respective dud, and that's how you make it work if you want it tiled. So I'm just going to show you how uh, this thing can be used. So right here, we've got uh, what we already used it for over there, um, which, by the way, can be used for pretty cool combination locks without buttons. Um, let me change the pitch. As you can see, the dud will fire. Um, now this one is pretty cool. If you enter this, you don't. If you just enter that block, so let's just look at that closely. If you just enter the block that the detector rail is on, you'll set the dud off, which is really cool. Um, you can also detect entities that way. So let's just throw like I don't know, a stack of diamonds on there. As you can see, uh, the dud fires. Uh, this can also be used to detect. Um, uh, yeah, blocks, uh, entity blocks. It can detect boats, fishing rods when you throw it at the at that block, and uh, arrows when you shoot them at this uh, particular block. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it can also be used to detect changes within a chest, which is really awesome. So, <laughs> as you can see, when we put items in, every time we put an item in or take an item out change the order of items so let's just say we move it around you can see it sets the dud off which is really cool it can be used to detect furnaces um, burning stuff so well, let me just grab a sapling real quick so you can see that uh, the dud goes off actually yeah, it doesn't even have to burn, you just change the items within a furnace and it'll set that off, that's pretty cool. It can detect items going through hoppers, so let's just say we put in a couple cobble here. As you can see, uh, the dud is set off, let's just put in a stack of diamonds. As you can see, as the hopper sends items down, the dud will detect the items going through the hopper. And notice, it's going through a block too, and that's true for all of these. All these updates are going through that block. And then... I'm not sure what this is. Oh, yeah, this can be used for a cool trap, so let's just change my game mode. Uh, game mode zero. 
And then, so let's just say, oh, I'm just gonna take these diamonds. And like, nope, nope, I'm gonna poison you and I'm gonna change my game mode before I die. All right, yeah, so that's the dud in a nutshell. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed um, the tutorial on this tileable dud. Unfortunately, I destroyed <laughs> what I built over there, but you know, it doesn't even matter. All right, so this has been the Redstone Innovation Channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, we thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to check out our past stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff, and we'll see you guys next time.